how to make endless runner in Unity. To make an endless runner game in Unity, you need these components. A player, which will be a capsule object, a platform, which is the landing object of the player, and you also need to organize the scene to make a good viewing experience. You can customize these objects with your favorite materials and with those materials you can make the game look much better. So the next thing you should do is to add a script to your player, because you want to be able to move it. But unlike previous tutorials, I will make this script use the new input system from the very beginning. I will first try to set all the default input actions like from the previous videos and see if that will work or not. If you need any explanation on how to add input actions to your input system, watch the video that I will recommend you in the description. You should now save your input system and add a C-sharp script for your player. Input system, player input. It is the reference to the input system that is generated as a separate C-sharp class. Now you should add the float, which is the speed of the character. Another float will be for jump speed. Introduce the rigid body of your player. Rigid body RB. RB get component. Player input new input system. This introduces the input system into your project, but make sure to have on enable and on disable. Now I will show you what to do, just follow what am I typing. The full explanation for the input system is in my input system tutorials. Player input move, jump, performed. This tells the script to load the jump action, which is every time when we press the space button. Don't forget to add it. Void on jump and make sure to remove the brackets from void on enable on jump. On jump will have the callback context because this is what happens. It will have those red lines because it doesn't work without the callback context. To fix those red lines you need to add it in on jump. And on jump can be performed only if the context is performed context which is called ctx. After that rb should add force to the jump speed. But you shouldn't multiply with time dot delta time. I will show you why in the later explanation. Looks like I haven't connected the input system with the player and it doesn't make any movement. Go to on enable and add move input action, like I defined before, and try it to see if it works. Before trying this game you should add on disable, and you are good to go. Go back to Unity and test it. Uh oh, looks like this doesn't work. But don't worry, it can be fixed. Add a new input action that will be for the left movement. Now add the action for the right movement and go back to fix the script. In the new input system, the way of implementing actions that are played by specific keys goes like this player input move left performed. Because the same applies for left and right keys, you need to copy on left key and on right key pressed. But pay attention, move left and move right. You should also add these lines in on disable. And then I will show you what to do. On left key pressed. It also has a callback context. And this is the line of code that I didn't tell you before. 
rb add force. The first parameter is x, then y, and the last parameter is z. You should use the first parameter if you want the x-axis, but the last parameter if you want the z-axis of the movement. In this case, you should add them to the first parameter. Do the same with the right key, but the negative player force. Well, I think it's opposite. Left key will have the negative player force and the right key would have the positive. But make sure that you add a direction force, because it's different from the player force, which is also a float variable. Just change it, make it look like this. Here's how it looks like. I haven't made it an endless runner. But after doing some changes in the project, adding multiple platforms, and also adding this semi-transparent object, which is actually part of the platform but has the tag, which actually turns into the respawn position, because I also have the respawn script. You can download the scripts in description, if you want to use them with this project. Stay tuned, because the creator will continue making high-quality tutorials for beginners. Have a good day.